say it all the time when I put the rhyme, cause I'm down for my crime. So you know, it's me when I'm old, be the area code. Y'all bitches is nothing but hoes, taking off your clothes. You with no money, if the world go wrong, your bitch just. Edward Vincent Jr. Park, the infamous Sentinel Park. Spread unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all. So today, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of the park. And I'm going to just tell you guys little stories that we go on. I appreciate you guys tapping in with me. If it's your first time here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. It don't cost you nothing. And it will help out this channel and help out this movement. So let's get into it. There's a lot of stories in this park right here, man. This soccer court didn't used to be like this. Recently, I believe it was Snoop and the Rams. They paid for this whole field. They paid to fix it. I'm saying my condolences and my respects. I mean, it was big of you guys to do that. Well, not condolences, but my respects. You guys know what I mean, man. So, yeah. Slowly but surely, I'm going to explain everything to you guys. So, this is the soccer field. It's where they play soccer at. This is the stage. Pretty much. Back in the day, they used to show movies here. And they used the background as the stage right here for people to sit down. And then over there, they used to put the movie. At least that's from what my older homies told me. Because as far as I can remember, we never used this. Only the homies, when we had functions, we wanted to kick it. We don't want to be seen by the hoodas. We would come right here and just post them. But other than that, I heard stories from other homies that they used to play movies here on Friday nights and the weekends and stuff like that. If you guys know that history, tap in and let me know. Yeah. It's the stage right there. Anyone and everyone who's from Inglewood, the city of the champions, they know about the stage. If they had to catch a blue bop or they could get down with someone, more than likely they were doing it right there. Hello. So yeah, now we're coming to the basketball courts and this is new to me. The basketball courts wasn't like this when I was going here. When I was young, it wasn't painted that color. Once again, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you like what I'm doing, give me a like. It don't cost you nothing, and it will help out this movement and help out this channel. So y'all do me that favor, please. So now we're getting to the baseball fields. And I grew up playing baseball right here. The homies still be coming over here playing. I'm not sure if they come here, if they go to Rogers Park, but I know the homies still have a league. But yeah, this is the basketball court right here, man. Sorry for the diversion. It's just, this is new to me. You guys tap in, anyone that hasn't seen the park in a minute, let me know, is this new to you too? It's just tight. They 
got these little seats under this little tarp. Man, they didn't have this before. That looks nice. That got the tarp where you could just sit. What? That's how you know I ain't been here in a minute. Same thing on the other side. Beautiful court. I gotta say, compared to what I was before back then. good y'all so let me sit right here in the shade that way I can tell you guys a couple of stories about this basketball court so this is where I used to come as you can see my grandma lived not even half a block away from the park and when my mom would go to work I would go to her house so pretty much I lived at the park you know what I mean I was here every day we got the swimming pool right there we're gonna get to that in a little bit but right here is where I spent most of my days then. We just used to sit on the grass over there. They didn't have these little seats right here, these little bleachers. You know what I mean? These are nice. But we just used to sit on the grass, play ball. The reason we used to like sitting right here is because you could see everything. Back then, you would have the CPF, the Sentinel Park Family Bloods, kicking it on top. And then... You would have some of the homies up here or right here at the basketball court, but for sure, we were always here daily. And since the gentrification and since they hit all the hoods with the gang injunctions, you don't really see too many people out here like that. And I gotta say, in an aspect, it's a blessing for the kids, you know what I'm saying? That's the only aspect to look at it. It's, it's a blessing for the kids because it makes this park safe. Back then, you used to come here, and even though it was safe, we kept it safe, but you would still see a lot of people, you know what I mean? And anytime there's people gathered, you know, kids migrate towards them. So it's good to have them in an the environment where they don't see none of that, you know? So it keeps their mind clear headed and they don't pollute it. That's my point of view now, looking at it from a father point of view, for my kids, that's the way I look at it. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, that, that was just a little couple of stories when it comes to this basketball court right here, man. I gotta say, you know, uh, salute to whoever donated those bleachers, cause it does make a big difference. So now as you can see, they're working on a gate, I guess, for the bleachers. Because the bleachers would be open. It would be, you know, if we weren't chilling right here, we didn't want to sit on the grass, we would come chill on these bleachers right here. And for those of you who have been watching my channel and everything, I said the story about when I met the homie Little Triste and we're about to walk up to the bleachers where I met him at. I was with my homeboy Woody, ex-homeboy, cause he's the one that told on me when I went in for the attempted murder. But I was chilling with him and the homies just pulled up and I'm about to get to where all that took place. I was chilling with the homie Woody, then the homie Little Triste rose up with his brother Milo and the homie Manny. You know what I mean? Talking about Manny, I wonder what's up with my boy Manny, man. I haven't heard nothing from him. They used to call him Little Bandit for my boy. My boy. We're also about to get to where I told you guys when we were young and we would have meetings in the park. 
we're about to get to where we used to have those little functions. And once again, none of this is because I condone any violence, I condone any acts of gangs or anything like that because I try to think as a father now. But I'm just sharing my story. My main goal is to do a documentary. That's why I'm feeding these little clips here and there. Hopefully a big production company or something picks it up. You know? But this is the bleachers right here. We came down right here. We came walking through this. So it was good. So we came walking through here. Because if you go through here, it leads you straight to my grandma's house. So we came walking through here and we were like sitting right here on these benches because as you can see, it's in the shade. So we was right there chilling. It's me and it's my homeboy Woody. And then next thing you know, the homie little three step pulls up. And when he walks up, I'm getting a phone call. So I pull out my phone and I'm talking or I'm texting. I can't remember the specifics, but I remember I pulled out my phone because it started ringing. And I just see him staring at me. And then as I'm texting, I guess he told the homie Woody something. He thought Woody was my brother. He thought I was Woody's little brother. So he left me alone. And then later on, a couple of days later, when we're chilling on the block, on Stepney block, I'm gonna take you guys there next, so tune in for that. But we're chilling on the block and we're, we're chopping it up, we're blazing. He met my, he knew my brother Saint. He knew Big Saint. So he found out that I was Big Saint's brother. You know what I mean? So he like, damn, my boy. He's like, I'm glad I didn't rob you that day. When we met right here at the benches and you pulled out your phone, he's like, first thing that came to my mind was to rob you. But I'm glad I didn't rob you because you're good people. <laughs> and you know, it just shows the, mentality we had at that young age because he was he's a year older than me so if I was like 14 he was like 15 if I was like 15 he was like 16 so he wasn't that much older but just to show you you know the mentality that we had you know so <clears throat> now we get into the tennis courts and I know you're probably thinking to yourself like man that's a big park and it is, you know, um, they got soccer courts, tennis courts, baseball courts. They got pretty much anything you need. And a fun fact, any of y'all who have watched the movie Menace to Society, when they're at the park chilling and barbecuing and Kane pulls up bumping, right? They're actually up there. And they're actually kicking it somewhere around right here. So it has to be somewhere within this area right here. Where they were chilling, barbecuing, and then they see Kane pulling up. And he gets his Mac on an old girl. It was right here in this part. For those of y'all who didn't know, it was in Inglewood, California, City of Champions, Edward Vincent Jr. Park, most well known as Sentinella Park. Little fun fact, we about to get up there to the skate park in a little bit. I just wanted to give you guys a little fun fact. I bet a lot of you didn't know that that movie was actually shot here. And I'm gonna show y'all that little driveway where Kane pulled up. But we gotta make a way around. Right. Right. Yeah. These are the tennis here. As you can see, there is people playing getting their exercise on in there. To be honest, the tennis courts, I don't know how they work. I don't know if you just go in there or if you gotta go ask them. You know us, we from the hood, we don't play tennis. 
basketball, baseball, soccer here. But never no tennis. I don't know why though. It looks like a fun sport to play. For any of the homies that haven't seen the park in a minute, man, I hope this was a blessing to you. I hope you tap in. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you didn't like. I'm trying to keep my hand as steady as possible, so y'all bear with me. California, baby. It's a beautiful day today, man. I'm trying to find a camera too. Apologize for that. It's a lot of construction going on. From right there, this little driveway. I remember the homie Little Bones. Shout out to the homie Greñas. He used to always bring his G-Ride through there. Cause that's the only way to come in the park with a car. But he used to always bring the G-Ride in the fucking park. Shout out to the homie Little Bones, man. God bless his soul, man. I miss all my boys. This was the infamous bathroom where a lot of fades took place. That's the infamous bathroom where a lot of chunkums went down. A lot of people got some, you know what I mean? But yeah, that was the bathroom right there. We coming up to the stone benches right here. Now this is where we used to have our meetings. All the homies from the block, Hyde Park, Pluto, tap in, man. Let them know in the comments. Show me love. Let them know about when we used to have the juntas right here. Yeah, man, the infamous stone benches. This shit brings back memories. My bad, I just want to make sure I get a good picture. Back then, on top, you see the trees now, but back then it used to be a jungle back there. It used to be so packed trees that you couldn't see. That's why we chose this location. Stone benches. That's why we call them stone benches. But yeah. So this was it right here. And this was also the spot because people coming home from school, from Inglewood High School and all that, they would have to come through here. If you didn't want to go the whole way around, a lot of people would cut through the park. And we would be right here, just chilling. Either waiting for a couple of hyenas to come, or the homie Little Triste being Debo, waiting to pocket check people. There goes the church right there. As you can see, it wraps all the way around. But yeah, this infamous walk right here. Anybody that went to Inglewood High School and had to cut through the park, or went to uh, Crozier and had to cut through the park, tap in, let them know. That's the other walkway. People didn't really used to take it because right here, it used to be a gang of bushes. You couldn't even see the palm trees. Infamous church right here. Yeah, the high school will be that way. Edward Benson Jr. Park. I 
I appreciate everyone tapping in, everyone watching. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Let's get it.